CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. First Nations chief from northern Vancouver Island is on a walk right now from Alert Bay to Victoria in support of the Idle No More movement. But his trek took an unexpected turn in Duncan when the chief and his supporters went into a grocery store. Their plan was to purchase farmed salmon and then test it for contaminants. But as CTV's Chandler Grieve shows us now, that's where the journey went off course. Amateur video shows Namgi's First Nation hereditary chief, Bo Dick, and salmon activist, Alexander Morton, inside Duncan's Real Canadian Superstore. They are there to buy farmed Atlantic salmon with plans to test it for contaminants. But instead, they get into a confrontation with store management. They use the word costumes referring to our regalia. Um, they said that we were abusive is what the cops told us later on. They, like, they, they actually commented on the regalia. What did they say? That it was uh, aggressive because of the regalia they were wearing and because they had signs and cameras. Police were soon called. We got a call about a group of people in the superstore that uh, were being loud and weren't leaving the store when they were asked to. So our members showed up and by the time we got there they'd already left the store. RCMP questioned Chief Dick, but they say no charges are coming. The chief says the incident was blown out of proportion. There was some talk about what happened in Superstore, a little incident. They were annoyed at us for going through there, uh, understandably. Although we didn't pose any threat, they were concerns, and I understand what they were. The group resumed its march this morning, stopping at Mainstream Canada's hatchery just south of Duncan. And after 20 years of talking to government, going to Norway, this industry is 98% Norwegian, and getting nowhere, I mean, they won't even recognize these viruses are here. Uh, I'm interested in communicating with the First Nations people of British Columbia. The march is expected to end at the steps of the B.C. legislature on Sunday, where the chief plans to break copper, a traditional symbol of disrespect, something he hopes will send a strong message to the B.C. government. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Duncan.